Okay. Uh, in this section, we'll be doing the uh, blood typing activity. So the aim of the, the test that we'll be conducting is to determine the blood groups of the victim, the blood found in the victim's car, the cabin, and the blood on the tire iron. Uh, we also have blood samples from all six suspects. So the aim here will be to determine the blood groups of each sample. What you'll see on my uh, blood wells here is I've labelled each well uh, specific to each test that we're going to conduct. So on each one I've got A, B and RH. So we'll be testing uh, whether uh, we're getting a test positive for blood type A here, blood type B here, and whether it is positive or negative here per sample. Now for testing the blood type A, we'll be using the anti-serum A here, which is blue. To test for B, we'll be using the anti-B serum and the anti-D here uh, will also uh, will be testing for the RH positive or negative. Uh, obviously, we'll also be using uh, mixing sticks to mix the blood with the serums to, to apply the test. Uh, they're color coded too, so you get blue for A, uh, yellow for B, and white for D, which is clear. Okay, first test is for the victim. Place a sample of the victim's blood in each well. Okay, so for anti serum A, we'll apply the blue liquid. That a good mix. Okay, so for anti serum B, we'll apply yellow liquid. RH factor, just a clear liquid. Okay. So you might see a difference in between these two. So we're looking, it looks like we've got some coagulation in B. The next one is the cabin. Blood sample. Right, so there's coagulation in the B type. Next test is for the victim's car. Next one's the tire iron.
Okay, this one is suspect T Taylor. Okay, coagulation in B again by the looks of it. You can just tell the difference here. You can shine a torch, see if you can tell any different. You definitely see the difference when I shine that on there, like that. This one is suspect V Velto. Okay, so it looks like we've actually got coagulation in both, which indicates that it's positive for both A and B. Suspect P. Preston. Okay, now I'm seeing coagulation in both A and B again. Suspect M Maloney. Okay, looks like it's definitely coagulating in B. I uh, can't see anything in A there. Suspect C Cunningham. Okay, different coagulation in A. Not seeing anything in B. And we're having interesting scenarios with the RH RH factor. It is uh, not showing as much of a difference between positive and negative, but don't worry about that. Um, just worry about the blood groups. Suspect in Burlington. Different coagulation in A. Nothing in B.
Okay, so that concludes all of the tests for the blood samples. Uh, if you could just mark down in your tables uh, which tests were positive for A or B or A and B. Uh, don't worry about the RH factor directly. Um, it's not imperative to this investigation.